Hi guys, it's Jilly Hunt here. I'm just bringing you a little bit of a fun, simple project. Um, and I'm going to show you as I go along. I'm not going to show you the finished thing until it's finished. Because <laughs> then it will be the finished thing. Okay, so what you're going to need, well you're going to need a two inch square for the base. And you're going to need a two inch circle. And we have a punch. If you go to jillyhunt.com, we have amazing punches. And this is a two inch circle punch that I've used to punch out four circles of card. And then we're going to simply fold them in half. OK, so that's what we're going to do. But I'm going to get rid of the blank whites because that was only just to show you how to do it. And we're going to do it with some really nice, pretty coloured papers now because that will be so much nicer. So there's my two inch square. Here's my four circles and they've all been folded in half. OK, you don't need to see, see how I do that. Now we're going to take the base and one of the circles okay and I'm going to add glue to just one quarter and I don't need very much so it's only a few little dots okay and we're going to put that underneath my square okay and because these are rather lovely little perky snowmen I'm going to put them all so that when we fold it up we'll be able to see them all peeping down into my snow field here so that's one and now I'm going to go all the way across this time so we've done our first one which was just part way and now we're going to cover just a very small amount of and we're going on the side one side was open that's the side that we didn't put the glue on and now I'm going to work round going round but going over the top of the one that was glued down. So that's now fully glued down and I'm going to turn it and we're going to do the same with the next one. Glue it over, just a little squiggle of glue and we're going to pop that one over that one so that as we're going round we're making an overlapping pattern. And one more. Okay. And then this one is going to go in there but remember this side hasn't been glued okay so what I'm going to do is I'm going to sneak it in and, and, and manipulate it in a moment so that one goes in and over but quickly I'm going to flick out that half that had not been glued okay and I'm going to drop a little bit of glue in between it means a little bit of a squeeze we can manage that okay and that's going to go in between there so that on the bottom we have this really nice overlapping pattern there's one bit another piece another piece and another piece okay so that piece that had been left unglued has now got the other one tucked in underneath it and they're glued together okay and I'm going to leave that there just for now um, now, what am I going to do with it, you say? Well, I've got a sort of, you know, bit of a funny shape thing. And that's all it is. I'm now complete. Um, well, what it is, is it's a little pouch that we can then use to, to gift little tiny items. And this is great for flat pieces of chocolate if you want to put them at the dinner table. Or I love making my own earrings. And these are, these are actually made out of paper. So I'm going to wrap them up. Uh, for someone this year for Christmas so tie them up together and I'm simply going to fold them into a little piece of tissue paper and I'm going to pop them into my little packet and I'm now going to do the packet together together Oops. together together and this time again I'm just going to tuck it under so that we repeat the pattern we had on the base on the top so each of our little we've got a nice little neat bottom and we've got a nice little neat top and all I'm going to do to finish it off is put a little ribbon around the top let's give it a tie and this is the thing that most of my class say to me how do I get a neat 
so how do I get a neat bow and I say quite often it's by chance oops there are better ways and worse ways of getting ribbons to tie neatly and I will show you those perhaps in a later video but it is a little bit of chance and a little bit of skill and a little bit of practice so there's my little um, package this, this arm seems to be a bit longer than the other so I might just trim this up there that's a little bit neater and I've now got the most pretty little package to give to someone with some earrings in. If I wanted, I could put a little hoop of ribbon and I could, or, or a little piece of thread and I could hang it on the Christmas tree or I could put it on a dinner plate. And here's a couple of others that I've done. A silver one and a little gold one, all done up with bows and ribbons, which would make beautiful little table gifts, wouldn't they? Hope you like that, a quick and simple how to wrap something tiny up. Thanks then, bye bye.